Hola from Quito, Ecuador. This is Trudy with True and Healing Travel, and I have four amazing days to spend in this lovely city. Um, now, I am also going to the Galapagos Islands, so I will also be doing a video, video series on that as well. Now, a couple of quick tips on Quito is it is at 3,000 meters high, so you do have to be prepared for altitude, and it's also obviously close to the equator, so you have to be able to protect your skin with good sunscreen. Um, and a really a couple great things about it is the arc, not only the city with its architecture, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its colonial Spanish architecture, but it's also um, surrounded by volcanoes. So it's a volcano hotspot. So come prepared to not only get a lot of culture, but obviously nature. So come along and join me and let's go see Quito. Right, there she is, the Virgin of Quito. Isn't she lovely? Made completely out of aluminum. Tallest aluminum statue in the world. And she's on the western hill. So get a good view of Quito below. And I'm going to be taking the tour and going inside to the top. The, the view here of Quito is spectacular. Can you imagine? And there she is. Alright, a great way to start seeing Quito is in the Centro Historico. This is the heart and soul of Quito and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with amazing Spanish colonial architecture. Now, uh, Ecuador did gain independence from Spain in 1822 and in fact right now I'm standing in Independence Plaza. So we're going to start off the tour um, taking a look at um, where it all began. This is a popular place to hang out. This gives you a overview of everything in the plaza. So yeah, right behind me here, this is the Archbishop Palace. And then in front of me, behind the trees, is the uh, Presidential Palace. On Mondays, I believe, is the changing of the guard. And um, I've heard that the President actually does come out on the balcony. And then walking straight ahead here, we're gonna go towards uh, La Campania. All right, and leaving Independence Plaza, going down Garcia Marino. We have a lot, couple, a lot of sites real close by. Down the street is, uh, this is actually not necessarily one of the most beautiful, but it is one of the most important churches in Quito. And they call it simply the cathedral, the cathedral. Um, but it is known for its incredible door here. It's a Baroque, obviously, design door. It is very ornate. All right, and going down past the cathedral, this is a pedestrian street that is quite popular, as you can see, and there's a lot to see and do on it. Right in front of me here is uh, La Campania, the most important, well, not the most important necessarily, but the most beautiful church in Quito. And um, the outside looks doesn't look so special. It is Baroque and in volcanic stone. However, the inside is almost entirely um, decorated with gold leaf so it's amazing and you um, I found out once I was in there I got a little clip but you're not supposed to do videos or photos inside um, but it is definitely worth a visit and right on Garcia Marina and after this close by is Plaza San Francisco 
which is another one of the most beautiful plazas. Go up there, take a right. Yeah, definitely morning is the best time to come here. The morning light hits it really nicely. Um, and the inside has both a church and a convent with some beautiful art. And something I'm gonna go check out across the plaza is this chocolate experience place. Let's go see what it's all about. All right, folks, I am at Minka restaurant having some vegan hot chocolate. And uh, lovely little place. And um, it's right on the San Francisco Plaza. So I've got this incredible view. Enjoying my hot chocolate. get a view, go inside. Let's go. All right, we're entering the Basilica and uh, this neo-gothic church is unfinished. Um, there's a legend around it, but there's also the fact that it's going to cost $2 million. So, <laughs> and that heart there is the symbol of the sacred heart. And these beautiful gardens, I'll give a breeze over this before we go in. Kind of tiered gardens there. I just find this courtyard lovely. Alright, so let's go inside. Wow, look at that color. So we've made it to the highest, most accessible point here. This is the two towers that are 110, 110 meters tall, right? 115? Okay. And we've got a great view on this side of the back tower. And there's the bridge of the roof. That's so cool. And of course, beautiful Quito. Go to the other side. Should be good of Ah, there we are. Incredible. So what it's doing is it's wow. We're extremely lucky to see it. It's uh... here is the mentioning of all the volcanoes. Supongo que esto seguirá grabando porque se ha apagado la pantalla. So, if I was more adjusted to the elevation, I would do this hike. Looks like this is the beginning.
folks, this marks the middle of the world and however they realized that after this monument was built once the GPS was discovered that this is not actually accurate so we're going to be going to the accurate location which is about 250 meters from here but this was the original monument of the equator I am standing on the actual equator. Okay, this is the proven location, 250 meters north of the original monument that I just was at. Proven by GPS. All right. Middle of the world. <laughs> When you get here, there's a good photo of the artist. It's kind of confusing, and it, so it's good to understand a little bit. So this right here is the main museum, and then off to the left is his, his home, which I'm going to go there next. And there's also an archaeological museum. All right, we are in the chapel of the museum for Oswaldo Wayasamin. And he has is referred to as, as you can see with these photos, the Picasso of Ecuador. Um, however, a lot of his themes are very on, kind of on the dark side and um, referring to the suffering of the 20th century. And then this one right here is called Misery. And I must say too, I, I saw a little video on him. The whole idea was that his dream was for peace. You know, he was just, he did not want these things to be ignored. All the suffering that took place in the 20th century. Okay, Mestizo. And this is the sketch that he did for this dome painting up here. All right, so this is the actual real equator in Ecuador in Kayambi at the Kisato Museum. And I did see um, someone showed on their GPS that is exactly at zero degrees. This is, okay, so they're saying the biggest agave garden in South America. <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. Look at these. Oh my God, gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Ah. Oh, oh. Plant geeks are in heaven here. Hmm. Hola. <laughs> I'm just going to do, oh there we go. 